All right, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to solve an equation by completing the square. Um, looking at this equation, x squared plus 2x minus 12 equals 0, the first thing that we want to look at when doing this problem is we want to go through your steps. And the first step that we want to do is we want to make sure that we have it in the form of x squared plus bx. And what we notice automatically here from what we've done prior is we already have it in ax squared um, plus bx plus c. So it's not in our x squared plus bx form. Right? Luckily, we don't have an A, so we can eliminate that A. But we need to get rid of the C. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I need to add a 12 on both sides. Therefore, I obtain x squared plus 2x equals 12. All right, so that's the first step, no matter what. Um, sometimes if, there's a, if there is an A, like A is 2, that means you're going to have to divide by 2. If A is 9, you're going to have to divide by 9 by everything to get rid of whatever A is. All right, so now the next step, step two, is to find b over 2 squared. So we know our b is going to be 2, so we're going to divide by 2, which is 1, and then square, which is, or uh, yeah, b divided by 2, so 2, um, it's going to be 1, and then 1 squared is 1. So therefore we have... Um, uh, I guess I'll just write over here. So 2 divided by 2 squared equals 1. Then step 3, add to both sides. So therefore, I just have x squared plus 2x. And since it's an equation, you have your addition property of equality plus 1. Right? Right. Now, here's the hard part. Now what we do need to do is we need to rewrite it as a perfect square. And we need to simplify. So we need to rewrite, rewrite as a perfect square. And we need to simplify. So first thing what we need to do is we say, all right, what two numbers multiply to give you one, but add to give you two? And you just go and start thinking, all right, well, the only two numbers that multiply give you 1 are 1 and 1. And do they add give me 2? Yes. So instead of writing it like this, I write it as x plus 1 squared. Then I go and simplify the other, my other side, which is going to be 12 plus 1 is 13. Now, our fifth step is to solve for x. All right? So now, to solve for x, what do we have to do? Take the square root of both sides. Therefore, you have x plus 1 equals the square root of 13, which we cannot simplify at all. So we're just going to leave it like that. And then I'm just going to subtract 1. So I'll have x equals, and I'm going to say negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 13. All right? So that's how you solve an equation by completing the square.